Hello everyone, Bionic here. Today we will be taking a look at a new Minecraft Bedrock Edition client known as Horizon PvP. Um, I'm the manager of this new client and so far the development is going pretty good. Um, when it does release you will be able to download this zip file here and to use it you'll just make a new folder can call it whatever, I'll just call it Horizon PvP, double click on that, drag everything from that to the inside, uh, you won't need that anymore, and once you have this folder you can just run the exe here, um, if it says your PC was protected, you can just click more info and run anyway, it's just a false claim. And as you can see, the injector is open, a little lag. Um, on the home tab we have a button, this will start Minecraft, and once you are on the menu, you can click inject and the client will go into your game. The dev tab, you can inject basically any DLL file into your game. You can select it here and then inject. The help tab, um, if the injecting doesn't work for some reason, you are going to want to download the Visual C++ redistributable here. And you can also contact us on our Discord for help. Cosmetics are not fully implemented, they are beginning to be. I'll put a picture up now of the preview. And for the about page, here's all the credits for the client, and here's the license as well. So, first we can have a look at what the cosmetics will look like, basically. Um, let's get into that. So basically, once you have selected your cosmetic, you can choose from either the normal arms or the slim arms. And if we go into edit character here, we can see that this K-Pack has successfully installed. Here's a quick preview. And this client will actually let you use a multiple of the custom geometry and cape packs. So you see I have this cape pack here, we also have my cape pack here, and I have another one. Also have the Mario pack right here. Um but other than that, that is about it for cosmetics. They'll be pretty easy to install. And in the future, we will likely add a way for you to change your skin. And now, uh, we can show off all the features in-game. So, if you press insert on your keyboard, this can bring up the menu of modules we have. Um, if we click GUI is what we have on right now, we can have tooltips. You can access this extra display by right clicking. The color customizer we have is currently in a really early release. It's not, it's getting there but it's not super done yet. As you can see some things aren't changing but you can change the red, green, and blue values of your GUI. Um, eventually we will have everything able to be chrome as well. You can change the opacity to make it transparent as shown here. It also works for the HUD that will be shown in a minute. Uh, the compass, if we enable that, you can see on the top we have a compass that shows our directions. And you can also edit the opacity of it and how large it is, as you can see. Um, uh, 
if we turn on Fulbright, as you can see, the game just gets much, much brighter. You can see everything even at night. This is without and with it. The HUD has many modules. Uh, the tab GUI, if we turn this back on, we can turn coordinates on. We can turn the array list of modules on, which will be up here. We can turn click toggle on, which lets you click the modules up here off. We can have the watermark, which shows the Horizon PVP logo in the bottom. We can show our coordinates, we can show our keybinds, we can show the armor HUD, which is a little bugged in color because of a 1.16 glitch at the moment. Um, we can show keystrokes, our FPS count, our CPS count, and then you can also change the scale and size of it at the bottom here. So we show that as you can see our coordinates are working cps is working fine fps is working keystrokes are working and we can see our array list at the top there no hurt cam um this one basically just removes the shaking animation if you get hurt so if we summon a zombie here As you can see, our camera is just not shaking at all. If we turn that off, you can see how it kind of does. Like, we sh the camera shakes a bit. I'm going to punch this guy off quick. Um, let's go back into creative mode quick. If we turn on our Rainbow Sky module, this is one of my favorites. As you can see, we have a RGB sky now that changes colors. And then zoom. This is basically like Optifine zoom, except it has many more options. You can change the strength of it. I recommend 80 if you want it to be like Optifine, and then turn in zoom off. And then if you press C, you cannot obviously zoom in there if you were to turn this all the way down your vision is upside down um this would be a interesting challenge i guess there's also many other settings you can experiment with for the movement tab we have the auto sprint module which when you turn that on uh, you can sprint without having to tap W twice. It's pretty useful. Um, and then we, we finally have auto sneak and toggle sneak. They're about the same. One is just you combine two key. We might remove auto sneak. But for toggle sneak, when you press shift, I'm currently not holding shift at all. You are still able to be sneaking. And then when you press shift again, you stop sneaking. Also, the client has commands you can use. You can use dot .bind in the chat. So if we want to bind our zoom to, let's say, the P key, you would do dot zo .bind zoom P. And now when you press P, your zoom. I like it on C, though, because then it's easy to access, which you can always change back. And, yeah. That is the main command at the moment. You can also do dot unbind zoom. And now it's not bound to any key. And like before, you can always put it back. And that's the main commands the client has at the moment. This command system, you can also do dot bind, let's say, free look to R. And then if you go in third person and hold down R, you can use free look as well. And then when you let go, you return to your original position. That's about it for the client at the moment. In the future, we are hoping to make the HUD items movable, such as the keystrokes, FPS, coordinates, things like that. 
And we are also hoping to fix the armor HUD or if the Minecraft glitch gets patched that's causing it, it could also be fixed in that way. But I hope you all enjoy the client when it comes out, and thank you very much for watching.